In this video, we're looking at Octograb. It's the brand new magnetic heated bed solution by Lulzbot. Stick around. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Octograb magnetic build platform for the Lulzbot 3D printers. Now, while this product says it's not compatible with TAS4, we're gonna walk through some adaptation, how we can tweak our bed in our environment to, to be compatible with this. Fortunately, I already have the modular heated bed system on there, so this is about halfway there. We'll work, walk through the other steps. Um, we'll design a couple things, mill them out, and then set up the TAS4. In previous videos, you saw we updated to the Slice Engineering Hot End and the Bond Tech Extruder. Um, and this is one of the last steps to kind of bring that up to snuff. So let's dive in. Recently, I received some spam email, and upon further investigation, I found out that Lulzbot had released this new Octograb magnetic bed system. Remove print easily from a PEI laminated spring steel print bed. Available for Mini 2, TAS 6, Workhorse, and Pro. So those are just their latest versions, uh, but the design is something that um, you know I've long wanted for the TAS, and they finally came out with it. Looks like they've got the Mini and the 300 by 300 for the Pro. Now that's the same bed size as we have on the uh, TAS4, which is what my machine is. Uh, and that price is pretty steep, a hundred bucks for this thing, but the quality looks good. And if it works as well, you know, that'd be a nice upgrade to kind of finish off all of the upgrades that I've included on the TAS. Those being the Slice Engineering, Mosquito Magnum Plus Hot End, and the Bond Tech Extruder. Um, and along with that whole gantry and the linear rails and all those other upgrades, you can see those in the previous video. But for this, I figured, you know, there, it can't be that difficult, even though it says it's not compatible with TAS 5 and prior. My machine is a TAS 4, but I've independently upgraded m many aspects of that machine, which probably make it compatible with this device. So in that regard, I took a leap of faith and purchased one of these, 100 bucks, which is pretty hefty. Um, but it sure could save some time in removing prints and the process to use the machine uh, most efficiently. So, made the purchase. A couple days later, I received the package, and this is what we're looking at. So I received the box a couple days later. The, it's nicely packaged, as, as all of the Lulzbot products generally are. Uh, there's a box inside a box, so it feels a little bit like Christmas. So opening that secondary box um, revealed that we had um, a Ziploc bag, and this is packaged the same way that the modular heated bed is delivered. And so upon removing that, open it up, we've just got that spring steel magnetic surface on a platform. That platform is has embedded 25 neodymium magnets and it has these uh, TPU grips to take off the spring steel. So you can see the embedded magnets, they are flush and that spring steel is very strongly uh, attached to it. So that said, we'll need to figure out how this is going to work. All right, when we look at the spring steel bed, uh, you notice those corners have an arc. Well, later it was determined that that arc is a 30 millimeter circumference or circle. Uh, and all four corners have the same arc. And it's likely related to their bed leveling discs that they use in the corners. Mine don't have a disc. I have these uh, stainless steel modular bed, low profile hold downs. And when I lay the spring steel on top of it, they interfere with its ability to lay flat. So I thought I'd, I'd just mark a line here and grind them down. So after marking those corner hold downs, I decided to do something different. Hopped over into Fusion 360 and basically just created my own washer that was the 30 millimeter diameter that it needed to be. And so with that profile, I just hopped over in the manufacturer environment bored out that center hole, milled out the three millimeter aluminum, and then performed a chamfer on both of those. And to make it simple, since I needed four of these, I used the pattern technique where it replicates the G-code, or replicates the toolpath. So I did that for the cutouts, producing four of these, as well as chamfering four of these, two different toolpaths, and then I exported those toolpaths ran them on the Maker Dreams Evo 1 CNC Pro, and we had some hold downs that we could use for those corners. Piece of cake. All right, and with the parts in hand, it was just a matter of removing these corner hold downs, 
which are just a few M3 screws. Now this machine already had the modular heated bed and you can see that with the grid pattern and it's just a matter of removing the glass and placing the magnetic bed down there that's got the, I don't know, 25 embedded neodymium magnets. And it's, it appears to be coated in a polycarbonate or PEI perhaps. And then I grab my little corners to hold down that magnetic base. Now they have touch points and that's how they do their auto bed leveling on their new machines. I don't use those because I have a BL touch, but you can see how it mounts cleanly and we have those 30 millimeter diameters which give me the proper arcs to properly register this uh, spring steel magnetic bed. It's the same thickness as the glass so it's just a direct replacement for the modular heated bed system. Which is kind of nice and now that I have those discs I can just put the bed up there and register it right in the arcs of those two circular corner mounts and that thing just pops down immediately sucks it down into like a perfect registration between all of those corners which is what i was going for hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at lowell spots octagrab their magnetic heated bed solution for their 3d printers and how it can be adapted to some printers that they say it's not compatible with if you're new to the channel take a moment to subscribe ring that notification bell to keep you updated on future videos like this if you like this particular video, give it a thumbs up. In the meantime, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. It's how we're building the community. Also, allow me to bring better content. Also, check me out on these other social networks. There's lots of cool stuff there, too.